What's up? It's been a while since I've done a little vlog or whatever you call it, but got off work early from work today. So decided to head back towards the house and I'm playing over at Arrowhead. It's a short, fun little Ooh, almost got that branch. It's a quick, fun little short putt and approach course. I think the longest hole is like 270 feet, but anyway, I guess I'll film some of the holes. So as far as what's new in my life, I didn't come in last in the Azalea Am. I didn't do as good as I thought I would. But uh, I feel like I've learned some since then, maybe taking better golf shots. Uh, I got to watch the Azalea Open and I got to watch the final round and watching a newcomer young guy named Blake Poland take the win from world champion Barry Schultz and it basically came down to the last four holes with Blake birdieing both and Barry either parring or bogeying and it was a really it was a really good battle and I got it all on film didn't intentionally mean to film it it just worked out that way also, I recently got my forehand game back. Uh, most of you probably don't know, but I've been really struggling just throwing forehands and being really inconsistent. And I think a lot of it had to do with my grip. And literally, it was as simple as switching my middle and index fingers around. It, I don't know how to explain it, but it worked. And I'm much more consistent, get much more power. No, I missed a birdie putt. You people were distracting me. Just kidding, I did it to myself, but anyway, uh, next tournament I plan on doing, which I'm signed up for, is the Eastern Carolina Open Eco. They do various stops around North Carolina. The next one is in New Bern. It's about an hour and a half, two hour drive. And then the one after that is the Eco Castle. And it's just a little one day, two round C tier event. But uh, those are going to be my next two tournaments. Hole 9, when it's in this short left position, I'm not really a big fan of it. It feels like you've got to, to me it seems like the ideal shot is to basically throw a hook forehand really touchy and just let it naturally pan out and flatten out towards the basket, but I've not really gotten that close for a birdie look yet. That shot I just threw flattened out way too quickly. 
the next disc I've got instability. It's not flippy, but it won't come out of the angle. So I've made, either I threw that tactic way too soft, or I don't have a disc in my bag that's right for this particular shot. One of those two. I got a nice little stop by one of the trees, it looks like. This hole's so short, that can be so tricky. I think there's a couple of guys a little further down the fairway, probably getting right at the getting ready to put out. So I'll just take this moment to say a few last words before I put the phone away. Uh you anyway, know, last weekend went and shot at Castle Hain, which is a notoriously difficult course, and I shot a new personal best at 10 over. That's so according to the most recent Azalea Am, uh, 10 over is at 871. So new personal best, new highest rated round. And I feel like I walked away learning a couple of things about that round. First one being play smart shots. Where I didn't feel like I had to make the big shot, where I didn't have to take a risk. I just pitched up or I played for position. I might have parred out, but that's okay. Minimized my bogeys, which was the best part. I think I shot a five over on the front nine and then a five over on the back. So I'm extremely happy about that. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later.